the real food in the Pluto oh. food. So right now, let's go. I gotta wash my mouth. Oh my gosh. This round, we are going to be making a hamburger. Oh. No. Yep. I'm starting with the lettuce. The what? Oh, the lettuce. Oh, the wham bam. This is how you make some good quality organic free range lettuce. Where did you get this bowl? I got it from my restaurant. What? I own a restaurant now. Oh, oh, oh. Got this thing you hear, which is like a little mini like, ah! You okay? Oh, you didn't see this on your own tool? Yeah. I thought you owned your own restaurant. Yeah, but I wasn't fully trained. Then we got a, oh, straight cutter. Woo! Are you qualified to be making Play Doh food, Collins? <laughs> Maybe not. All right, my patty is done. Next up, I'm gonna go for some cheese. Some cheese. Some cheese right on that burger. Now I'm just gonna cut my lettuce in a very squiggly manner. It oh. looks like Green bacon strips. Slice them. No, whoa, 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 Next up, we're gonna get the tomato going. I'm gonna use my little stamping machine. Check us out from the front and then from the back. <laughs> On a legitimate level, what is the point of this? Well, if a two-year-old can figure it out, Collins, I think you should be able to. <laughs> and for my tomato, I gotta cut out some, uh, like, you know how tomatoes have holes in them? Yep, definitely not the right tool. Yo, yours is actually looking pretty good. Oh, thanks, man. Squeeze, squeeze. Look at that cheese. Look at the cheese. I want this whole piece no. of it. I need the No, my okay. burger. <laughs> Come on. So here we go. So now we got my tomato. Well, it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe it counts as like a fidget spinner a little bit. I don't think it'll spin. Now it's time for the lettuce. Come back. Wait, are you making lettuce again? I need to have a super duper long piece of lettuce that's completely unbroken. There Not a single hole. Now the burger part of it is the most expensive part of my. So for this, we really got to make sure that we um don't give them too much so we're not losing money as a business. So it's gonna. There we go. There's the burger. <laughs> but we'll disguise it with a massive tomato outline around it so they won't even know it. Brilliant. Uh, what can these orange be used for? My or burger comes with a fully unpeeled orange. Wow. All right, so now we're gonna place a massive orange in it. There we go. Yeah, I've run out of bread, so I'm left with no other choice but to make the top of my burger the actual hamburger patty part of it. So here we go. We got the perfectly round and symmetrical burger. The place symmetrical. it on top of the orange. Actually, game changer. Coat the orange in the burger. That way, <laughs> nobody sees it. It's a burst of flavor. They bite into like an orange rind. Like, oh. How is your restaurant still open? And then, of course, to end it off. So now I guess it's just gonna be boring and I gotta sit back and wait for Devin to finish his. That looks so good, that is not fair. All right, here's a big reveal. You ready? Three, Three two, two, one. Wait, first, five second subscribe challenge. We wanna see if you can subscribe to this channel and turn on the channel post notifications in five seconds. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, done. Now if you can do that, comment down below. Comment Keep down your squad below. right now. Three, two, one, ta-da! I am not happy with how this turned out, so I'm gonna change it a little bit. I need to grab what? this roller over here change and uh, see if it works. Yo, it's Bruce what? Burger! No, how did you do that? Magic? What? The best thing is it even talks. Check this out. Ha, huh, I'm Bruce the Burger. The burger is pretty awesome, but it's pretty obvious Bruce is not actually talking, bro. Oh my 